welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and this is Hattie and that's Penny and we are the berries. Hey everyone, how are we doing? The girls just got in from sitting outside so they are wanting to be all over me and it's just the way it is, okay? It's just, that's just the way it is. Oh my God, she just popped my top open. So today's video, I swear, I swear I am not <laughs> copying Jessica Braun. I have had the exact same video schedule as her for literally since I started my channel. I'll be like, next week I'll do a Target haul and then I'll do speed reviews and then I'll do this. And literally, our empty schedules are on the same. We go to Target at the same time. We do speed reviews at the same time. Like, I don't know how it's happening, but it is. So today we're doing a little bit of a speed review talking about um, a previous haul that I think I talked about with you guys. I was going to talk about some products from Ulta and Sephora, but I decided to talk about some of those in upcoming videos of fails and some really good stuff, but I tried out some new stuff from Kosas, like their Glow IV. It's not my favorite. We'll get into that in our fails for February. And then I'm also trying the brand Amy Cole or Amy Cole, I believe it is, um, which is a black owned beauty brand at Sephora that I'm really, really enjoying, as well as trying out some new stuff from Olaplex etc. So we'll talk about that stuff in another video, but today I want to focus on speed reviews from the last Ulta order that I made. Some of those things we've already talked about in my January flops video, but I have uh, a lot of the stuff that I actually enjoyed in today's video along with we can kind of cover those flops a little bit. So if you are interested in hearing quickly how I felt about some of these new launches from Essence, Flower Beauty, um, About Face, Wet n Wild, Pacifica, then keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. As I said, my name is Rudy and we talk about skincare, hair care, body care, makeup. We do vlogs, we do hauls, and I would love to have you subscribe. So let's start off with, I think we're gonna just go brand by brand. I actually picked up a few things from Flower Beauty, like four different products from them. Um, some of them are new and some of them are older in their collection. So I will start with the newer products just so we can get that out of the way because I am really enjoying all of their new launches starting with uh the concealer that i'm wearing today and i will have my editor pop in um the clips of me trying these things on this morning but this is the get real serum concealer from flower beauty and i wear mine in the shade sand i think this is about 11.99 and i am really liking this dare i say maybe one of my favorite uh concealers i've tried from the drugstore this is in a squeezy tube which i like because you get every single drop out of your product and i find that the wand itself is kind of unique it has this really sort of fat doe foot applicator on a um, angle here and i always like seeing new product innovation so i was a big fan of that the first time I tried it, I was really nervous it was gonna end up being a little dry on me because it has more of a fuller, not full coverage, I would say like medium, could be built up to full coverage. And it's on the more matte side, like I would say satin natural finish, not super matte and not super dewy, but it is a concealer that I don't set with a powder. And I love it. As long as I am properly hydrating my skin with either like a serum, a spray, an SPF, a primer, something like that before I use this product it looks absolutely gorgeous again i am wearing it today and i feel like it adds the perfect amount of coverage to maybe if you're wearing a skin tint which i am today i'm wearing the summer friday skin tint if you're wearing a skin tint and you feel like you want a little more coverage to be added to the face this is a great way to kind of add that by adding it on the high points of the face along with under the eyes i think it could be worn on its own as well sort of as like a foundation and concealer it is really pretty and i did not expect to like it so if you're looking for a nice I don't know, everyday to buildable high coverage concealer. Give this one a try, although I will say the shade range is lacking. Okay, next up, the other new product I picked up from them is absolutely a win, and I am really, really enjoying it. And this is their new Plump Up Gloss Stick. These are the closest thing that I've been able to find to the Tarte Juicy Lips at the drugstore. And I have tried a lot of products similar to the Juicy Lip. Like I have them in every single shade. You guys know these are my favorite. Like I've tried the ones from M Cosmetics. I've tried the ones from the Sephora collection. Like I have tried a ton like this. I've tried the Hourglass ones. Like they're all so good, but very expensive. All of those brands are higher end. So when I saw this formula, I was like adding to cart, adding to cart. I have a video of me trying on the shade Toasty that I will put in here, but I'll also add at the end of that my reel of me putting these on because 
I also try on this shade, which is the shade Heated. These are the best shades in the line, in my opinion. It's like a nudie brown and a more like berry-ish red shade. Personally, why I think these are so good, besides that the price is really good, is these are this, this formula that is lightweight, not too thin, and is not super opaque. So we're going to talk about another like clicky style product like this that is really opaque. And that can end up being a little bit messy because you have too much color on your lips and when it's in this glossy formulation, it can get everywhere, it can bleed outside the lip lines. These are actual glossy looking formulas that have a little bit of that grip to the lips without being like a lipstick color. Like it's very sheer and buildable. If you wanted to add more coverage, you definitely could with these, but I like that you have the option of building it from like a lower coverage lip product to like opaque if you wanted it to. These are gorgeous. They do have a little bit of a cooling sensation, so if that's not your thing, just keep that in mind. I wouldn't say they're like super painful or plumping, are considered a plumping gloss. Absolutely gorgeous. I would say they remind me of the plumping ones of the um, Juicy Lips. If you can find a shade you like, I highly recommend these. And the concealer, um, both really good drops. And then another recent I think this was recent from um, Flower Beauty is the Spotlight Liquid Highlighter. So I wanted to get this to see if it was a dupe for the uh, Beauty Light Wand from Charlotte Tilbury and it absolutely is. I mean, they pretty much stole everything about the product from Charlotte Tilbury and put it in this wand. Like it is the almost, or it, no, it is the exact same component. Even the top is the exact same. Um, this is in the shade Spotlight. The product itself is called the Spotlight Liquid Highlighter. So. They stole that as well. I don't love when that happens with a brand, like when they literally take things word for word, but also Charlotte Tilbury is not like the end all be all owner of the wand formula. A lot of brands are coming out with wands. And to be honest, like I don't love a wand. I prefer like a doe foot applicator, like the Hollywood Flawless Filter, but I will say this is an exact dupe. Like in color and formula and the way it blends, I do like it. Again, it's not my favorite way of applying a highlighter, but it's what I have on today. It does leave a really nice, beautiful glow. I'm in the shade Opal, and it also has that same twist method here. So if you find it to be messy uh, when you're using the Charlotte Tilbury, it's gonna be the same with the flower, but it is, again, much less expensive. And if you were interested in trying out the Beauty Light Wand, you should pick this up instead. I think they also came out with a bronzer version to match their contour wand. Haven't tried that yet. So if you're interested in that, let me know. But also, um, I don't know if I need it because like I already have the Charlotte Tilbury and I can pretty much guarantee now after trying this, they're probably very similar. <laughs> the last thing from Flower Beauty that I tried, um, I'm not gonna talk about it too much because it was a fail and it is something I put in my fails video from last month. So if you want an in-depth talk about why I didn't like this, I'll link that down below, but this is the Flower Beauty Color Shift Lip Smoothie. I was excited about this because my friend Kelly Gooch likes it, but it's basically a lip product that is a pH adjusting uh, moment. It comes out that like fuchsia pink color that all pH adjusting colors do, which is like this shade. Um, it was just way too thin for me. It felt like a lip oil that had no grip to it, and I just, it was uncomfortable on the lips. It just wasn't my favorite thing, and I recommended instead the Essence lip oil, the cranberry lip oil, which will give you the same effect, but it will be a little bit more hydrating on the lips. So that is the little haul update from Flower Beauty. I would have to definitely say, grab the concealer and one of the shades of the glossy plump up gloss sticks. These were most definitely a win and it made me excited to see what else Flower Beauty is gonna come out with in 2023 because so far, so good. Okay, next up, let's talk quickly about Pacifica because that's the next brand that I have a few products from. Let's talk about the one good thing and then we'll talk about the other bad things. So this is a concealer from them that it's called the Dream Lit Glow Concealer Corrector. I had mentioned in a past fails video that I tried the Pacifica Dream Lit Glow Under Eye Corrector and it didn't work for me. It was like, an eye cream in a tube like this and it was meant to brighten your under eyes like immediately and I felt that it left my under eyes kind of dry. Mine are dark sometimes but it's more about the fact that they're hollow so I need a little bit of coverage to help like counteract that, something to help with the glow, etc. So I was not expecting anything from this concealer but I actually do like it. Um, this is a 
regular ass concealer. I will say it's a very small doe foot, like super small. And I have mine in the shade nine. I don't think that there is a very good shade range here at all. I'm pretty sure Pacifica is just like not, they don't really care to expand their shade range, which is not something I really love, but this shade does work for me. I think it will work better in the summer. I don't think you need this. I really don't. It is a glass container, which is kind of nice, but if I had to choose between this and the Flower Beauty, I would say go for the Flower Beauty concealer. These are both sitting in my concealer section and I'm still choosing that one over this one even though they're both drugstore price. Not that I don't like this one, I do think it's nice. It has a good bit of coverage. I would say it's light to light medium, satiny finish, similar to the Flower Beauty, but the shade isn't perfect on me and knowing that I've had so many flops from Pacifica recently, I just haven't been grabbing for it as much, but I will be trying it again soon so that I can get like a good feel on it. This is it kind of blended out here. So I would say it's got more of like a satin matte finish, but it is pretty. But again, because I have multiple concealers in this video, I'm just gonna say, try the Flower Beauty. And I think there's probably a chance you'll be able to find your shade in the Flower Beauty over the Pacifica. The other two things I've picked up from Pacifica were both also in my fails video from last month, and they are both from the Kind line. This is the Kind Glaze, the Dewy Glow layer, and the Kind Tint SBF. This is a tinted SBF in shade SBF 30. This is a mineral sunscreen. You'll just have to go watch that video. To put it simply, these stunk figuratively and literally stunk. This to me sounded perfect. Like when you hear the words, dewy glow layer, moisture and glaze with ceramides, collagen, squalene, I was like, wow, this sounds amazing. I thought that it would maybe be a dupe for my Say Glowy Super Gel. Like I was like, oh, maybe these will be similar. Um, they are not. The Say Glowy Super Gel actually adds glow and hydration to the skin. This is basically like a thick lotion that does nothing. It does absolutely nothing. Um, it also smells like old oatmeal. Meal, so no thank you and then this SPF the fact that they called it tinted was absolutely insane because it is sheer white it is straight up white if you do not have white skin this is not going to be a tint on you in any way shape or form and I'm used to mineral sunscreens I love mineral sunscreens but this one I was hoping to love because it was a cheaper price from the drugstore I would rather spend higher end to have a SPF I actually enjoy using and this also has a funky smell. I've had a couple other people confirm with me that Pacifica stuff smells weird. Let me smell the concealer. Does that have an SPF in it? It kind of smells like it. Guys, I don't know. I don't know what they're putting in that stuff, but it ain't, it ain't good and I don't like it. So I would just skip that. I would go for the Say Glowy Super Gel over the Kind Glaze, just spend that extra money to get a good product. And I am hunting right now for tinted mineral SPFs from the drugstore. I just tried out a new one from Neutrogena. It's really freaking good. I will say it doesn't have as much product as this. This has 1.7 ounces. I think the new one from Neutrogena is just one ounce, but it's really good. I'll link it down below. It comes in four shades, so you actually have an option to find something that works for you. And I really, really like it. So I'll have to talk about that in a favorites video at the end of the month. All right, the next few things are one-offs from multiple different brands. And I haven't talked about these with you guys, I don't think, in a long form video yet, which seems crazy because I have been absolutely loving them this month and these will definitely make a favorites video. These are new from Wet n Wild. These are the Rose Comforting Lip Colors. I picked up four shades. I may have even picked up five shades, but one of them was a little bit too light for me. Um, these are gorgeous. These are absolutely gorgeous. I was just talking about the um, the feel of the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips and how Flower Beauty had really nailed the head on that one. These are like the L'Oreal Color Reshine lipsticks that went viral recently, but they're even better. Like, they feel better on the lips. They're not as slippery, and I think the shades they've chosen are absolutely gorgeous. Again, I do have um, a little bit of footage of me wearing the shade Taffy Daddy. That's also what I'm wearing right now, and they're absolutely stunning. I think there is a shade for every single person. These are super inexpensive, you guys. It's wet and wild, and I will say the uh, component itself, they're pretty cheap. It has the name Rose in it, but it is not. it does not smell like roses at all. It has no scent to it so don't be thrown off by that i think it's because it has rosehip oil in the formula but these click up but they don't click back down so just be careful when you're using them not to click up too high um they're stunning like mm, they feel so nice on the lips and they provide this like nice cushiony pillowy comfort to the lips that lasts like it lasts as well as a 
you know, sheer sort of tinted balm color would last, but it still gives you a good amount of color for the lips. So I have four shades. My favorite shade is Taffy Daddy. I really like the shade Pecan Glaze and then also um, Soft and Juicy, which is like a nude with glitter in it. And that sounds like what the hell, but I'm telling you with like a matte lip liner, it is so, so pretty. It's such a gorgeous nude. So highly recommend these and think you should grab one, especially if you've been on the hunt for like one of those kind of soft lip colors like the l'oreal color reshine that are always sold out or being discontinued this line needs more attention because wet n wild can make stuff and then take it away and i don't want that to happen with these because they are so good all right next up is a product from essence i just realized i just realized i wonder if the pure nude highlighters are in this packaging now i don't know but i have two of them i have my old ass essence pure nude highlighter that i wore on my wedding day in the shade bead my highlight and then i have the newer one in the shade sunlight which is like a more bronzy be my sunlight which is like more of a bronzy shade absolutely gorgeous i literally wore this highlighter on my wedding day you guys that's how much i like it and essence created a pure nude blush that is similar in feel to the highlighters so you know i had to try it and it's gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous you can see this highlighter has been through it like i have made a huge dent in this product i've had this for literal years and i think the blush is no exception it's just as good this is a powder a baked powder blush and i have mine in the shade rosy rosewood it's one of those products that i prefer to apply with like a fluffier brush because it can get kind of a lot on the brush but it is so beautiful. One thing about a baked blush is it's going to give you a little bit of that soft glow to it, kind of like an hourglass product does. Those are all baked products as well. And it gives you just this slight ethereal glow without actually adding any shimmer or glow to the skin. It's like just in how the powder is pressed that it looks like that. So it's definitely more matte than I typically go for because I usually am wearing a cream blush, but this is absolutely stunning, especially if you're going on a night out, like for Valentine's day. Are you kidding me? Essence is super inexpensive. It goes really well with the pure nude highlight. If they expand this range even more, like I would buy everything from the pure nude line because I love it so much. If you can find a shade that you like in this blush, I think it's absolutely worth it. I haven't had any breakouts from this blush and I've worn it multiple times. It lasts very well because it is a powder blush and they just last more than cream blushes. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. Point being, Essence knows what they're doing when it comes to baked products. I'm really curious to see, I think Kosas is coming out with a baked blush formula this year and I'm curious how it will hold up against Miss Essence Girl because she is gonna be much cheaper than the Kosas formula and I gotta say this year, the Kosas drops have not been doing it for me. Um, I don't know what's happening. Like it used to be my literal favorite makeup brand like two years ago. And now I feel like I don't know the last time I enjoyed a drop from them, maybe the foundation. So I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll see what happens. All right. Next up is another very, uh, very inexpensive product. And that is a mascara from LA Girl. This is the Lift Off instant lash lifting definition mascara again it is what i'm wearing today and you guys know i have an affinity for la girl mascaras like i don't know what the hell they put in their mascaras but i love their formulas so much my favorite mascara from the last year was the la girl plush lash mascara it's a washable formula so is this one I'm still trying to figure out exactly what the difference between washable and tubing is like the fact that the washable formulas don't actually wrap around the lash but they have the same wash off as a tubing mascara i don't know anytime you see washable you can bet that it's going to be good because it doesn't flake it doesn't budge similar to a tubing mascara but it's not exactly tubing i don't know guys i'm trying to figure it out myself this is a washable formula and i was immediately drawn to it because of that and because i had run out of my plush lash and i was like wow la girl came out with a new washable mascara let's try it this is the wand. It's a little funky. It is this like round ball on top with like a very skinny sort of filled out wand on the bottom that has a ton of product in it. So the point is you're supposed to use that back part to add a lot of volume to the lashes and then the skinny little ball to separate and add length. This is definitely a very 
voluminous like va va boom nighttime mascara i will say when i wore this in a video recently i got a ton of questions of what i was wearing on my lashes even before i got my lash lift i started wearing this and people were loving it i think that it is a step up from your classic traditional everyday mascara that I like, which is kind of fluttery, separated, sort of the barely there look. No, these lashes are here, baby, and they are very visible and big and bold, which I, I like because it's adding volume to the root. It also looks super long. It's not too clumpy, but it is a dramatic effect. So you could easily make this a super dramatic look uh, or you could do something more every day and just use the ball end of the mascara. I think uh, LA Girl mascaras run you about $6.99, which to me is great, especially because with a mascara, you're gonna be using this in three months time and then tossing it. So you don't wanna spend too much on a mascara formula and you honestly don't need to. I do like this a lot. What I would say is the plush lash is better for your everyday, like super natural fluttery look and the lift off is better for your nighttime evening look or if you wanna add a little more volume to your lashes. I do like this. This. obviously I think it looks great um, but I am sort of like going for some other mascaras right now I feel like it does remind me of the L'Oreal telescopic lift that's been going viral recently they have a similar vibe to them and they're also both washable so let me know if you've tried this what you think of it um, I think it's worth getting but everybody has their own you know opinions on mascara our last product in my Ulta roundup is from about face I think it's the only non drugstore uh, brand that we're talking about today but about face is sold at Ulta Beauty I love about face I've had sponsored videos on this channel with about face if you don't know them it is Halsey's makeup line she just does such a good job of formulating really unique products including the components are all unique like the packaging is all unique I think the colors are unique she's just a very creative person Person, and I love a lot from the line so it was obvious to me that I was going to like this too this is the um, cherry pick lip color butter and I have mine in the shade peach punisher again I purchased all of this with my own money about face does send me PR I haven't gotten this in it yet so I wanted to pick one up so when I was talking about the uh, flower beauty click up pen and how it's like very lightweight and you can build up the opacity this one is like opacity on the first swipe. Like you put this on and it's basically like a melted lipstick. That, not to say that I don't like that because I do, but it is one of those products where I prefer to wear with a lip liner and to be a little bit more precise about how I put it on because it is so opaque. Like it is truly going to take the whole color of your lip and transform it into whatever color is here. It is meant for people who want more of a vibrant, bold look that has more of a glossy finish to it, which I like for certain times of the day or certain events or if I wanna go out at night but I still wanna have that glossy look to my lips, I would use something like this because you won't have to reapply it quite as much to keep the color. But I do prefer the ones from Flower Beauty and also the Rose um, Comforting Lip Balms from Wet n Wild just because I am a person who provides, who likes a little bit of like lightweight looks on the lips that still have a little bit of my natural color showing through. I still do like this a lot. I think it feels really nice on the lips. It's super hydrating. It smells a little bit like cherries, which I think is really cute. And they are more expensive than your typical drugstore formula. I will say the, um, if we're comparing it to the Juicy Lips, again, these are more sheer. These are more opaque. Just depends on what you're looking for, but I do love About Face and I think that these are good. I don't know if I'm gonna buy more shades. We'll see. This is the one that caught my eye the most, but it's nice. Okay, so that was my little speed roundup of my last Ulta order. I'm trying to take a break right now and calm down on the purchasing because I just have so much stuff that is really, really good. But I do wanna talk and do something similar to this for my next Sephora order, which is Again, the Glow IV from Kosas, the Olaplex um, dry shampoo. I'm using the Kosas grow, grow Potion on my brows right now and I'm really enjoying it. I'm just like looking at all of the stuff over there that we need to talk about. So let me know if you have any questions on these products down below or if you're interested in also a speed review from my last Sephora order, if you'd rather me just talk about those in favorite, favorites and plop. Favorites and plops plops. Also, let me know what you guys are doing or did for Valentine's Day. I guess this is going up on Wednesday. So if you did anything fun for Valentine's Day, I want to hear about it in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video really soon. Bye.